this is my gift to you. So we're gonna target the upper arms, whether you call them bat wings, bingo arms, I have heard a lot of things. Second wave goodbye is the one I call it. But I know that upper arm definition or tone is a huge goal for you. We're gonna get right to the workout, but I want you to stick around to the end if you really want the bottom line on how to get that tone and keep it even more because it has a lot to do with lifestyle, habits, and nutrition. But right now, I want you to pick up a pair of weights that's fairly heavy that you can't lift more than, say, 15 times. So be thinking about what that is. And if you're just starting out, soup cans or anything you've got will work. So just get started, but do it with me. So I have, I have 10 pounds. That just is for relativity. So that doesn't mean you should use 10 pounds, but these are fairly heavy. And I'm gonna start with bicep curls and here's why. I love to work the back of my arms. I love to do the triceps. So I'm gonna do the biceps first because I don't love that as much. <laughs> We're gonna go up and down. Here's two and three. Pay attention to the details. So while I'm standing, my knees are slightly bent. My core is tucked in and my tailbone is slightly tucked under. But I wanna make sure I'm not arching my back and your core really gets to work here. So it's hard for me to count and actually do every one of these repetitions with you, but that's my goal. I wanna work right through this with you and show you all the exercises, and then I'll talk you through how you would put them together in a workout, really full fleshed. So we're gonna do two more, we're gonna call this 15. Are you good with that? <laughs> and relax. Now, 10 pounds alone is not enough for me to be able to do this exercise. So I'm gonna cross these weights and I'm raising my hands up over my head. So what I want you to most pay attention to is this right here, that I don't have my shoulders up, they're down, my elbows are in close to my head and I'm not gonna let them go out here because that changes things at my shoulder that you don't want to happen. So as I do this one, I need to make sure, again, my core is tight, my tailbone is tucked under, and I'm gonna bring this down like I have a great big sledgehammer. Elbows stay in place, and I'm gonna tap that nail right on the head. This is three and four. Now, if you're doing this correctly, it's not bothering your lower back, but your core is getting some work. Your abdominals are engaged. Here's six and seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Elbows are still in and bring that down. Now, if you were really gonna do this for a workout and it's not your first time, at the circus, I would have you pause the video right now and repeat that. The bicep, the tricep, two more times. So up to three sets of just those two exercises. For shortness of this video, I'm gonna move on and do what's next, okay? I want you to pick up weights that are a little bit lighter. So I have five pounds here, but honestly, I looked really hard at my three pound weights because my arms are a little tired, okay? Just from putting up the tree and decking the hall yesterday. <laughs> so we're gonna start again with biceps. Elbows in close. It's gonna look really familiar. You're gonna come up and down the same way we did. This is four, so it's much lighter right now. Feels pretty good compared to those tens, just half as much weight. Good, but there's a reason I wanted you to go light, and there's a reason I'm turned to the side. I want you to see what's going on at my back, more importantly, what's not going on. Keep those knees bent, tailbone tucked under. Now, from right here, we've done just about 10. I can't count and cue at the same time. I want you to take this weight and bring it out, and right in front of your shoulder with your hands and then back. Now be careful not to arch here. If you need to, get back against a wall, 
so that you can't. Or sit down in a chair, and that'll make it easier too. And pull back. You're going to go up and bring that back. Reach up and back. So you're extending from the shoulder, and you have a little extension going on at your elbow too. It's almost like you were holding a baby right here, and then you're just going to hand it off. Reach up and then come back down, nice and tall. Remember, you're doing a lot more work in your core whenever you have a long lever out there away from your body. So you have to have a really strong abdominal and back connection. Reach up, and if you don't, do this one seated because it becomes a lot less work. So as you get tired, I'm telling you that more because you're more likely to slouch or arch. Bring it forward and back. Two more and back, and one. Now we're gonna take those two moves we just did, put them together. So we're gonna bring this up, flex in, come back out, and come down. Come up, flex, extend, and come down. And lift, in, out, and down. Come up, come in, come out, and down. Lift up, and in out and down. Good, let's do three more. And you should be feeling this one, even with a lighter weight, definitely should be fatiguing at this point. Two to go. And one more, please. Lift, in, out, and down. Good, shake that out. Relax the shoulders. Now you know what's coming, you have to do that on the other side. So for the triceps, I could sit in a chair if I'm worried at all about my lower back here. So I'm gonna have you take the weight. We're gonna go first with the elbows pointed in toward your side, palms in, and we do that short lever. Two, three, and I'm keeping my head kind of down and forward so my neck is not straining, and I want you to do the same. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and straight. And now from here, I want you to lift that straight arm back. Two, keep your shoulders down. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, should be getting harder. Nine, and 10. Now you gotta come with me because we're gonna do the combination. So we go with that straight, flex, extend, and down. All right, it's gonna get interesting. For me anyway, I don't know about you. Here's two, and down, three. The interesting part is keeping the smile while it feels like this, and out, and down. Up, in, reach, and down. Lift, in, up, and down. So right now you have to be thinking about the little black dress, and down. Lift, in, out, and down. Lift, in, out, and down. Lift, in, out, and down. Let's do two more. Lift, in, out, and down, and one. Up, in, out, and recover. Shake those arms out, good. Now, that set, you only have to do one time, but trust me, if you've done the biceps and the triceps from that first pair three times, one time will be enough, because I've only done one of those, and it's enough. Now, we're not quite done. What I'm going to show you next is a shoulder press. Now, best if you've never done it, if you do this in a seated position. But when you do a shoulder press, what I want you to do is here, in front of you, so that it looks like this, and you're not arching back. And if you have any issues with your shoulder and you know you can't do overhead work, you know who you are and just leave this one out, fast forward. If you can do it, 
And if you swim, or you play tennis, or you take heavy plates, and you put them on the top shelf of your cupboard, you need this kind of work every once in a while. I'm not a huge fan of overhead shoulder work because most of us do eventually have some kind of a shoulder issue or a niggle. The rotator cuff muscles in there are really small. They do a lot of work for us and they're kind of delicate. So once you've injured them, it's really hard to recoup. So we don't want to get them in trouble. If there are ways to work the shoulders below the shoulder with no stress on the shoulder, I'm all for that instead. But every once in a while, these help. And in this instance, they help because you're using that tricep muscle. And you don't want to create upper arms without great shoulders. So there you go. Lighter weights whenever you're doing that and start super small, maybe with no weight, just to go through and see how you feel in that range of motion before you do more. Now, go to smaller weights, even than these. So if you have soup cans or you wanna try nothing, now would be the time to do it. This one again is a shoulder exercise, but you have to see it's all connected up here. So if you want upper arm definition, a lot of times, we just do biceps and we do triceps, but we're missing the point that they insert here, but so do your shoulders around this joint that gives you that whole definition. So if everybody on the team is doing its job, you're gonna have better definition than just focusing on one or two muscle groups. So either sitting in a chair and just hinging forward at your hip or standing, you want a small curve in the small of your back, like an arch, not rounded. So be careful of that position. You're gonna start with your weights down here. What I want you to do is to shrug your shoulders back and away from your ears, and then lift up to the side and come back down. We're gonna do eight to 10 right here. So just with small weights, lift. And you notice that I'm pausing at the top and the reason I'm doing that is because I want you to own that strength in the range of motion. So no swinging, there's no lift and drop and come back again. We're actually gonna raise up, hold on to it, and then slowly lower down. When you lower down, try to do it from the shoulder joint, but keep the back muscles right across your spine, your scapula, keep them pinching together and down. Let's do three more and recover. And two and then down. And one, come down and shrug your shoulders. Nice and easy. One more. I'm gonna have you do forward with your thumbs up. Raise up and you come out at about 45 degrees. Raise up. And in all of these, notice this is a long lever. So still, even though it's a light weight, your core has to be really tight. And you can always do these both arms together, or you can just do one arm at a time and the other arm, totally up to you. I like to do both arms and then down. And that's probably because I'm in a hurry all the time. So try to go slowly within your exercise. You can move quickly from one exercise to the next, but make these count when you're doing them so there's no swinging. So if this feels incredibly slow to you, it might be a sign you need to slow down when you're doing the rest of your exercise. We're gonna do four more. I want you to notice this. So I'm not letting my shoulders come up when the weights come up. I'm just very slowly coming up. So it's not this. It's just a raise and then release. Raise up and then release. And raise up and release. Good, two more. Hang in there and down. Last one and down. Good, now the rear deltoid and that front or medial deltoid that we just did 
you could repeat those two again, depending on how you feel right now. But go through all of that series and give yourself 48 hours or 72 to recover before you do it again. So remember that you want to do these on days when you're doing other weights. If you're doing chest, press, or back, you're using your shoulders on those days as well. So fully rest really well before you do it again. And that is your secret to going sleeveless. I'll see you on the flip side.